Good morning, Cyber Traders, and happy Election Day. Hopefully, everybody's really excited about today because um, there's actually a whole lot of nothing going on right now. I'm telling you, today's got to be probably the worst pre-market I've seen since probably the day before Christmas. I mean, this is just like, this is like pathetic. This is literally just nothing, nothing going on. I mean, we got this one stock right here that looks like it's doing nothing. And there's a couple other ones. I mean, the market is up about 380. We did pretty good yesterday. We got some good volatility, but overall it is absolutely a bunch of crap out there, which doesn't mean nothing will happen going into the open. We might find something that might move, but overall, you know, even though the market's up, you got a couple of things that are moving, but the market's pretty much flat, okay? So guys, don't forget, you gotta go vote today. That's one thing important. And also cyber group members in the trading room, Please, I know this is a very touchy subject. Do not get political. Do not bring it up. You know, we're all one political family, and that's a trading family. By the way, this thing just took a huge drop just right now. Wow, that thing took a big, big hit. I want to bring up uh, really quick what Brian had brought up. Brian was asking me a question in the trading room. He says, Fausto, when you say BBG is all algos, um, how do you know that? Well, algos, for some of you who don't know, that's algorithms. So what I mean by algos is that you could see the stock has basically traded 26 million shares. Where is the stock trading 26 million shares? What has the right that the stock could trade 26 million shares on what news by seeing that it started at eight o'clock this morning, we're from 2.10 to 2.30. So, I mean, I jumped in around like 2.13. I thought it was going to break out. It didn't. I just literally just sold it, thank God, when I was just talking to you guys about it. That was a close one. But that was basically algos. And algos, you just got to basically scalp. You got to get in, you got to get out. You got to get in, you got to get out. But, um... But that's basically, I hope that answers your question, Brian. But regarding about today, listen, one thing that you guys are going to learn a lot if you're new here to Cyber Trade University, if you were not here last year, four years ago, if you remember um, Hillary Clinton was supposed to be winning in the, the election and then President Trump won. And one thing that's really cool, if they do announce it um, today, you know, at, at night, I remember like the S&P futures dropped like almost like, 20%, 30%. And then they shot right back up. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Literally, it was like a huge catastrophe and a huge rebound. It was almost like when oil was like negative $20 a barrel. They were paying you money to take the oil. Remember that day? So, um, you know, so it, it'll be really historic for you guys to see what happens. Um, I don't know what to predict. That's, that's not my job. My job is to sit there and see, you know, how we could benefit from which industries are going to benefit from a, a Trump presidency or a Biden presidency. So, uh, listen, if you missed the financial crisis, if you missed the internet bubble, if you missed the, uh, nine 11, if, if you missed the coronavirus, well, now you can see what's going to happen. You're going to go into one now. So We'll see how that works out. But there was a couple of stocks that were moving uh, yesterday. I do want to talk uh, regarding about some of the stocks that did move. There were a couple of stocks. I mean, you had Lyft moving yesterday. That had some type of decent move. So Lyft had a little, little bit of a pop yesterday. Um, also, Uber, you know, followed along suit with it. Um, they're moving okay, but they really haven't gone anywhere. These stocks pretty much died overall. Plug had a nice move, and it's also moving again. I actually threw it in my watch list this morning. That one is up about 4 but it's only up 4%. That's like ridiculous. 4%? Are you serious? I mean, that, that's, I mean, that's, if you look at the watch list on the bottom left-hand corner, there's not really that much out there. They're really not. Uh, DGLY moved really good yesterday. I don't know what happened going into uh, this stock, but this stock had a really, really nice push yesterday. We did really well with this one too, DGLY. A lot of you remember we traded this back in June when it ran from a dollar to $7. But overall, I knew this was going to happen going into Monday, Tuesday, especially going into election. Nobody wants to come out with news. Nobody wants to do anything. Regarding about today, I went through the big watch list. You could see there's really nothing there. I mean, AS, uh, ALSK up, you know, 60%. It's a buyout. It went from $2 to 3 Where's it going? It really hasn't gone anywhere. I, mean, I don't know if it's definitely a buyout, but from the trend of it's doing, it hasn't really gone anywhere. The BBGI literally hasn't gone anywhere and these are the two biggest percentage gainers on the market ambo listen here at cyber train versity we're trading something to you know just make our days pay we don't care what the company does we don't discriminate on price you know uh, uh regarding all oh, it's too cheap whatever it is they don't move they do move you know that being here but i'm telling you even like brand name stocks I was going down the watch list. It just none of them are really doing anything. 
There's only one stock that uh, uh, that did come up on my watch list was Alibaba. Uh, that stock obviously took a little bit of a hit here. That stock is down about 6%, but we're not going to be trading a $300 stock. We're not going to be trading a $300 stock. Um, all those um, all those stocks that we traded also yesterday, the old uh, the electric car stocks, looks like they're taking a little bit of a hit. You can see LU, that public company we traded. That stock is obviously on a downtrend a little bit, making lower lows. It's down about 7%. That one too. AMC, I didn't realize this, but AMC took a nasty hit. Holy crap. Did you guys notice? I didn't I just noticed it right now because it showed up. That was probably the only stock that I found that was on the big percentage gainer list I might consider. Only good thing that's going to AMC, it really is at a major support level. I mean, this is all the way back of the uh pre-COVID uh crash on this stock. So AMC. Let me tell you, if it breaks this price, then the stock is going to the, to the uh, below a dollar. I mean, this is a major, major foundation. You know what the foundation in on a building is? Okay, I don't know whoever taught you charts, but here when we teach you charts, we, we teach charts as like an architect building. You got floors and ceilings, just looking at it. And then you got cement that separates each floor and ceiling. Well, you got a roof and you got a basement. Okay, right now the stock is at the basement. What happens if you break the basement? You go into, could be going to hell. I mean, I mean, literally, there's no support after that. So it's on what we call uncharted territory. Stock breaks a roof. People are like, well, where's the resistance? There isn't any. It's the sky. It's in uncharted territory. So you got to be, it's one little good technique and strategy to always keep in mind that you always got to be alert that some people look at it like, can it really go any lower? Yeah. And by the way, you guys, you should you should be very proud of yourself in the cyber group room because we traded a AMC. And we did well with this stock. And just always remember what I taught you. And for some of you here in Facebook and YouTube live, you know, watching it, this is what you'll learn being in the trading room. You can't go broke taking a profit, okay? And you gotta know when to take a loss. Now, just imagine, go back to your journals, re review, because we all traded AMC. Look where you bought it and think of what would happen if you still owned it today. Where would you be? nowhere you'd be sitting there twiddling your thumbs and then doing one of the cardinal rules that of, of the anti-words you never want to be in in trading hope you're gonna hope it's gonna come back if you're hoping if you ever say that word that is the ultimate word to say i gotta sell whenever you hear say the word oh i hope this comes back that is also the ultimate word that you in deep shit you got to get out of the stock right away okay just giving you guys a heads up on that but listen um, how does AMC pop at 250 on bankruptcy news? I don't know. I don't know. But listen, that, you know, Rogue, bankruptcy is actually sometimes could be a good good uh, news for a company because what happens is that, listen, I don't know your anyone's financial situation here, but maybe you might know some, maybe it did affect you. But you ever get into uh, know somebody that filed bankruptcy and they had all this debt and all this headache and like the house is in foreclosure and they filed bankruptcy. And then you know what? You kind of realize person's like, wow, I don't got to worry about those people calling me anymore. Oh, you know what? My check I made this week, I can keep it all. I don't got to make the minimum payments anymore. So sometimes it's actually a good thing. You know, it's actually a good thing uh, uh, depending how bad it is. But sometimes uh, it, it, it works out, you know, after the news comes out, they have a clear slate and it kind of, it does work out. People come out of bankruptcy. Okay. Patrick is saying yes. And so do companies too. You know, the only person that gets screwed is the person who lend them and, and, and let them borrow the stuff. Those are the only people that get screwed, the landlords, whatever it is. Okay. That's really, it comes out to it, but sometimes it's really not a bad thing. All right. Every bank was in bankruptcy, right? That's the good thing. What we do. So anyway, about today, guys, listen, this is really nothing going on. Okay. Go out and vote. That's going to be your duty here in the United States. I know we have people all over the world. You know, it's a very important election. Go out there and vote. Go spend two, three hours waiting on the phone online. Okay, I don't know how, how busy your places are going to be, but I know I'm going to be online for a little while. Let's trade the first hour. Let's go check out. Let's go vote. We'll come back in the afternoon. We'll see how it goes. But honestly, I don't think there's much going to be going on of anything. Okay, kids are all from school. It's a national holiday here in the United States. And you can see there's really not that much going on. But we always find something that will pop early. Just just always remember, just try to take just take the short, the small little profits. All right. 
So, um, so anyway, guys, don't forget today is traders talk. Okay. So for everybody, um, that is on the cyber, uh, the cyber group trading room at 11 o'clock, we have trade 1130. We have with traders talk with Josh. So don't forget it's our big week, 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. It's our big weekly event. It's a big treat for all of you guys when they start reviewing some of your traders. We're gonna he's gonna go into detail, the mistakes that we made and everything else. And then uh and then we'll go trade and go into the afternoon. All right, guys. So thanks everybody. Good luck, and uh we'll see you back here at 11. All right. Be safe, everyone.